hi friends in this video what we'll see about the human elementary canal this is in our 10th standard textbook in this we will see in this video what about this and the full explanation of this elementary canal okay let's we start our video in first we eat various types of food which has to pass through the same digestive tract naturally the food has to be processed to generate particles which are small and of the same structure this is achieved by crushing the food with our teeth since the lining of our canal is soft the food is all wetted to be it's passing smooth when we eat something we like uh, our mouth waters in our mouth we will get some watery feel is not actually only water but a fluid called saliva this fluid is secreted by the glands called salivary glands another aspect of this food we ingest in the complex nature this to be absorbed by the elementary canal it has to be broken into smaller mo molecules it is done with the help of biological catalyst called enzymes the saliva contains an enzyme called salivary amylase that breaks down starch which is complex molecule to give simple sugar in this uh, salivary amylase it will transfer the starch into the simple very very simple sugar and then it is the food is mixed thoroughly with saliva and moved around the mouth while chewing our muscular tongue it is necessary to move the food in regulated manner along the digestive tube so that it can be processed properly in every part the lining of canal has muscles that contract rhythmically in order to push the food forward this peristaltic movement occurs all along the guts from the mouth the food is taken to the stomach through the food pipe or we will generally called as or nothing but phycosis the stomach is a large organ which expands when food is entered on it the muscular walls of the stomach helps in mixing the food through thoroughly with more digestive juices in our stomach we have more and more digestive enzymes or juices what we have in our stomach and next the digestion in stomach is taken care of by the gastric glands present in the wall of the stomach this releases hydrochloric acid and a protein digesting enzyme called pepsin and mucus in that first we have seen it is hydrochloric acid it is its function is here is the hydrochloric acid creates an acidic medium which fertilizes the action of the enzyme pepsin we saw that pepsin is an protein digesting enzyme the pepsin is an protein digesting enzyme this enzyme is used in our stomach our stomach is here you can see here in the stomach inner lining of our stomach we have this gastric gland in this gland we have hydrochloric acid we saw what is the function of it and pepsin we saw that also what is the function of it and uh, last and final 
it is mucus the mucus protects in inner lining of our stomach forms the action of an acid under normal condition it is it will protect by our hydrochloric acid it will be acidic in nature it will protect it is an base it will protect our stomach by any effects next it is the exit of food from the stomach is regulated by a spincher muscle which releases it in small amount into the small intestine from the stomach the food will enters to our small intestine directly the longest part of the alimentary canal which is fitted into the compact face because the excessive coiling the length of the s- small intestine differs in various animals depending on the food they eat for example in herbivores herbivores will eat grass in that grass the herbivores want to want the longer small intestine to allow the cellulose to be digested but in carnivores the carnivores will eat this kinds of uh, food like meat in this meat will be digested very very easily than the herbivores hence carnivores like tigers have a shorter small intestine the small intestine is a site of the complete digestion of carbohydrate protein and fats it receives the secretion of the liver and pancreas for this purpose the food comes from the stomach is acidic and has to be made alkaline from the pancreatic enzymes to act bile juices from the liver accomplishes this in addition to acting on fat fats are present in the intestine in the form of large globules which makes it's difficult for enzymes to act on them bile salts break them down into small globules the large globules what is in the stomach or intestine it will be broken down by the bile salt into the smaller globules increasing the efficiency of enzyme action it is similarly the simplification action of soaps and next it is the pancreas secretes pancreatic juice and which contacts an enzyme like trypsin for digesting protein in our small intestine in our stomach we will use pepsin which is secreted by gastric glands in small intestine in small intestine the trypsin will take the charge to digest complete protein and lipase for breakdowning the if assimilated fat and the walls of small intestine contain glands which secreted intestinal juice the enzyme present in the finally convert to protein into amino acids complex hydrochlorides or hydroxides hydrocarbons is in carbohydrates into glucose and fat into fatty acid and glycerin food digested digested food is taken up by the walls of the intestine the inner lining of small intestine has numerous finger like projections called villi which increases the surface area of that absorption the villi are richly supplied with blood vessels which take absorption to each and every cells of our body 
where it is utilized by obtaining energy building new tissues and the repair of the old tissues the observed food is sent into the large intestine where its wall absorbed more water from this material the rest of the materials is removed from the body via of the anus it exits from the anus the exit of this waste material is segregated by the anal spincher okay this is our end of this alimentary canal we finished until then bye from jivan